Google just released Gemini 3 with a feature that's going to unlock a whole new level of document automation. It's called Media Resolution Control and it gives you extraction quality we just couldn't get before. If you're processing invoices, contracts, handwritten forms, accuracy is everything. Traditional OCR falls apart on complex documents. Vision LLMs were smarter but not that accurate enough for complicated stuff at scale. Gemini 3 with high resolution changes that. In this video, I'll show you the quality differences with a side-by-side -side demo how to build this into production with N810 and show you what this unlocks for your business. So here's what Google released. Gemini 3 introduces granular control over vision processing via the media resolution parameter. You can set it to low, medium or high. This works for images, PDFs, video as well. Now here's the key thing. If you look at this table, what is media resolution low for Gemini 3? That's 280 tokens on the image. What is media resolution high on Gemini 2.5? That's 256 tokens. So the ceiling of Gemini 2.5, the previous generation of models is the floor of Gemini 3. And when you set it to media resolution high, you're talking four times more tokens. We're looking at a fundamental jump in processing depth. And I'm super excited about an ultra high, which is coming soon as well. Let me show you what this means for document quality. So I built this quick comparison tool in AI Studio using their wide coding feature. It let me run the same document through Gemini 2.5 and Gemini 3 Pro side by side so you can see the difference. On the left, we've got 2.5. On the right, we've got 3. Now I'm going to start with this handwritten form application here with lots of checkboxes and fields and tables mixed together. This is a real world document that businesses actually need to process. Let me upload this and run it through both models. It does take a bit of time, so the latency can be a bit high. Now check this out. Gemini 2.5 has completely struggled with this, especially the formatting parts. This is where the less tokens will get really complicated. It does manage to extract the data. It's not completely off or anything. But if you compare the output on the right, which is much cleaner and much more usable by the LLMs. Now, tables like this are by far the hardest part, especially when previous vision LLMs. Let's see what both models have done for this one at the very end. Look at Gemini 3. It managed to extract the right fields, the right columns, and some level of structure in that. Whereas Gemini 2.5 is like some of this weird slash artifact, some of this monthly income. So it did sort of get there. And I'm sure we can tune the prompt perhaps. The prompt is relatively simple here, which is like, you're an advanced OCR engine, extract all visible text fields, preserve the layout structure using markdown, you don't add conversation and filler. So it's the same basic high level prompt. Tuning the prompt may improve 2.5, but the token difference that we're talking about as the fundamental level is just way better. There's just no comparison now. So 2.5 is usable for getting a general idea of the document. But if you're trying to automate extraction of a handwritten application or any document, you can't use 2.5. Too many errors. But 3 actually understands the table structure, understands the rows and columns, and is preserving the relationships in the fields. This is what I mean when I say that this unlocks a whole new level of automation. With 2.5, you'd still need a human in the review and correct this. With 3 at high, you can trust the extraction enough and feed it into your workflows. Documents that were too complex to automate are now on the table. Now let me show you how simple this is to build into production. I'm using N810 here, but you could do this in Make, Zapier, or even just write the API call directly. I'm keeping this deliberately simple because your use case may be different. Maybe you can change the trigger to email processing attachments or watch a Google Drive folder. Maybe the output has to be an email or a task in the project management system. But the core always remains the system. A trigger to get the document, pass it to Gemini 3 with a prompt, extract what you need, and send it where it needs to go. Let me just show you how each of these pieces works together. Let me just start it. It opens a form. I'll upload the same file. If I open this node, it's very simple. You have to connect some API credentials from Gemini Studio and you have to pass that we are doing an image processing, select the right model, which is Gemini 3 Pro Preview, pass a bit of a prompt and connect the previous node's file. That's the file that we want to pass to Gemini. Now it's executing at the moment. In a bit, it's going to show the result. So this node managed to extract all the data. And what's the next node? It's just append a row in the sheet, which is connected to my Google Sheets account, select the right Google Sheet and the right tab, map each column where I want the data to go. This is what the sheet looks like at the moment. Again, this is just a sample use case. We've got the file name, the date timestamp, and the complete data extracted here. Of course, we can tune the prompt to polish it a lot more, put things in separate columns if we wanted, but that's a specific business use case. All right, so that's it. What used to require complex OCR pipelines, multiple API calls, constant human review can be done with a single API call to Gemini 3 at high resolution. Documents that were too complex to automate, like handwritten forms, dense contracts, mixed format in tables, these are now 
possible. If you found this helpful, drop a comment below. It really helps the channel and I'd love to hear what documents you are trying to automate with this. If you're interested in learning how to build AI powered apps and automations like this yourself, check out my AI first school community link in the description. If you want help implementing this kind of automation for your business, I've got a link in the description to book a call with me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.